Some of the most moving stories on film here at the Myrtle Beach International Film Festival are those that come straight from the heart, and that is certainly the case for Beneath the Crown, written and directed by Susan Gallagher. Welcome. Thank you very much. How did you come about creating this documentary? It is about a former beauty queen, correct? Yes, it is about the 1967 Miss Universe, Sylvia Hitchcock. And I had met her about 30 years ago in the small town in Florida where we both lived. And she is not your typical beauty queen. She is. She was actually an athlete and a sculptor and was at the University of Alabama on, um, on an art scholarship. And her sorority sisters talked her in to um, uh, going into the Miss Alabama pageant. So she finally agreed to do it and she went in on a, a borrowed bridesmaid's dress and she won. And then she won Miss USA and then she won Miss Universe. She was only one of eight Miss USA's that actually became Miss Universe. And it's a story about her life, but the fact is, is that she was not your typical beauty queen. She had a lot more beneath the crown and she had struggles in her life and she had wisdom and strength that I think that can empower me, has empowered me and empower, empowered many other people and empowered a lot of women. So I wanted to share, share that story of hers. You are a successful actress. But here you are behind the camera. What's it like being on the other side of the camera for a change? Well, I'm not as successful as I'd like to be, but <laughs> I have done my share of work, thank goodness. About three years ago, I decided to stop waiting for the phone to ring, for my agent to call. So I picked up a camera one day and I said, you know what, I don't have to know everything and I don't have to be perfect. You know, I don't have a degree from from Tisch or NYU, but my friends were doing it and I finally had the courage to fail and started doing some of my own productions and formed her little red production company, which is all female filmmakers and female driven projects. So coming behind the camera was very challenging for me because I really didn't know what I was doing. I was more comfortable in front of the camera, but I, I got around people who did know what they were doing. So that helps a lot. And, and I've learned a lot. And my goal was to just improve with every project that I did. So I feel like I have done that. Certainly. So yeah. what's the next step for you? Are, are you going to complete a feature length film at some point in time? Uh, yeah, if I could find a bunch of investors, that'd be wonderful. But I'm having a great time. This was my documentary debut, Beneath the Crown. And I'm very proud of it. And um, I've got a couple of other projects in the works. What happens is you start writing these projects and then you end up, well, this is like five different movies. And then you have to make a decision of which direction to go in. So I'm just enjoying this journey with Beneath the Crown and taking it a day at a time. But having too much material, that's a good problem <laughs> to have, is it not? Because then yeah. that gives you future projects to work on. It correct? does. And, and I love to collaborate with other female right. filmmakers. And we do have a, um, a male in the, you know, in the mix every now and Glad again. Glad to hear it. <laughs> we'll have our token guy. But um, yeah, we're, we're talking and collaborating on a couple of different projects and just going to see see where Beneath the Crown takes us and um, see where the, the journey leads. The film is Beneath the Crown. It is a beautiful film. Susan Gallagher, thank you very much. Thank you so much. My pleasure.